All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great session with the presidential candidate of the fictional Common Sense People's Party. Now, during the campaigns, Peter will be said quite a number of times that there is a direct relationship between poverty and insecurity. He said insecurity will worsen as poverty increases. And he said, therefore, to tackle insecurity in Nigeria, we must begin to pull people out of poverty. But statistics shows clearly that the rate of poverty from the last day of Buhari to this present moment under Tinubu has doubled. And as such, insecurity has worsened. As at last year, Abuja to Kaduna Road was the main route synonymous with kidnapping. But now, the entire country has become unsafe. The government of Tinubu is more concerned about frivolities. 5 billion naira yacht, 15 billion naira mansion for VP. 20.1 billion naira for chief of staff, SUVs for wife, ETC, and so insecurity has gone viral to the point that the UK has come out to send a strong warning to their citizens about Nigeria. Before I show you what they said and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this update that is tantamount to a witch hunt of successful youths by the Nigerian government. Look at how the papers reported it. Tinubu begs Nigerian doctors abroad to return. President Bola Tinubu on Tuesday said his administration was prioritizing and improving Nigeria's health sector through massive investment and an increased allocation of funds to the sector in the proposed 2024 budget. He therefore appealed to Nigerian health workers practicing abroad to sacrifice their time to come back home and serve their people. He implored countries poaching Nigerian health workers to consider the interest of Nigeria. Tinubu made the call on Tuesday at the unveiling of Nigeria's Health Sector Renewal Investment Initiative at the State House, Abuja. We encourage those Nigerian health professionals in diaspora, just like Professor Ali Pate and Tunji Alausa have done, to sacrifice their time to come back home and serve the people. Consider your contributions here at home. As we say, charity begins at home for the developed countries who benefited from amazing talents of Nigerian health workers. We will really encourage them to consider how to support the expansion of training facilities in Nigeria to replace those that they have recruited from here. You should also look at the short and long-term opportunities that we offer. <laughs> now, you destroy the society, you destroy the country, and young people find a way to make their lives better and now you are asking them to come back. Isn't this a witch hunt? And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here says, Beg investors and companies not to leave Nigeria. Begs Nigeria doctors abroad to return to Nigeria. But you go for treatment abroad. Oh. And this tweet by Festus Okwonlola says, The same people that politicians try to stop from traveling out. You owe them salaries. Refuse to improve the sector. When you do the needful, nobody will beg them before they return home. Yes, you have to put the country in the right shape because not be only for hospital then go day. How about the economy? How about naira to dollar that you have destroyed? And this tweet here says, until you start getting your treatment in Nigeria, then we can begin talking about doctors coming back. Rada rada ushi. Doctors that are not treated well here, even after all the rigorous stress they go through, then you expect them to come back and receive peanuts to do what, sir? I wonder. And this tweet by Ali Abdullah says, what kind of an expensive joke is this? My brother, is really a very expensive joke. And this tweet by Maddie Shew says, to return and do what? The same Tinubu goes to France for medical care, thus confirming the lack of confidence and the disdain he has for Nigerian healthcare institutions. His call to the foreign doctors to return is flowing from slumber. Mm. And this tweet by Concerned Nigerian says, Return to come and do what exactly? Walk in hospitals without government care while you are buying yachts, SUVs unending? I beg you. Return to a country where you snatch, grab, and run with their votes? Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, this one, enter. And this tweet says, Laugh out loud. They would have returned without being asked if Peter Obi is the president. No doubt. They know who has the good of the people at heart. Asking them to return when the ones remaining are looking for papers to jackpot. Make the nation work 
and they will return. Simple. The people in Nigeria are trying to run away and they are asking those who have escaped to come. This is funny. And this video here says, begging, instead of making the so-called country attractive for them to return. Typical black man. No worry, they will return with dollar at 1,500. Feel unaffordable and security zero. Mm. Who is going to return under such condition? Nobody with a brain will do that. Now, let us look at how the UK government warned their citizens about traveling within Nigeria. One thing you can never underestimate is any warning coming from these highly intelligent nations. Most times, when they send warnings like this, it is because they have seen that something worse than what is already happening is looming in those areas. And that is what they have done on this occasion. They practically warned their citizens against traveling to almost all the states in Nigeria. Look at how the papers reported it. UK warns citizens against traveling to Rivers, Kaduna, 21 other states. The United Kingdom government has warned its citizens against traveling to riverine areas of Delta, Bielsa, Aquaibom, and Cross River over recent attacks and targeted killings. The travel advisory was also issued in some other states in the northern and southern regions of the country. FCDO advised against all but essential travel to Kano State, Jigawa State, Bauchi, Taraba, Nanja State, Kogi State, Plateau State, Sokoto State, and the border region of Niger and Kebi State. Also, it warned against all travel to Kaduna State, Katsina State, Zamfara State, Borono State, Yobe State, Adamawa State, and Gombe State. Banditry, violent attacks, frequent intercommunal clashes in the region, and the high threat of being kidnapped were all cited as the reasons why British nationals should reconsider traveling to these areas. Now, these guys have listed virtually all the states in Nigeria. They have marked almost everywhere as unsafe. What they are indirectly telling their citizens is to leave the country, that the country is not safe for them to be in. Have you thought of the effect of this on foreign investors? No, you haven't. This means in addition to those who have left already, many more are going to leave. This update by the UK government is another devastating blow to the Tinubu administration because when multinationals leave, more Nigerians are going to be unemployed. And who is the same investor that will now come into Nigeria to invest under such condition? Let us take some of the tweet reactions to this update by the UK government. This tweet by Tao Sheomotola says, Hmm, it is to avoid stories that touch. APC is doing wonders. Yes, that is what APC government has done to Nigeria. Nigeria has now become a society where people are told to flee from. And all this started in 2014 when the APC was formed. This tweet here says, Warning people against moving freely in their beloved Nigeria they created without the consent of those involved. Only time will tell. Hmm. This one is talking about the forceful 1914 amalgamation, formation of Nigeria. This one don't carry and go back. And this one here says, waiting can remain out of 32. Kuku say the whole Nigeria no safe. That's what they are trying to say. They are trying to say the whole country is not safe. And this tweet here says, Abuja too. Abductors of 20 people kidnapped in Bau, a village close to Ako Estate, have demanded 50 million naira ransom after four days. That's what we're talking about this morning. And this tweet by King Mula says, Now so when I go they won. Now when I go still they encourage bad people to snatch power. Nonsense. The reason is when Niger when things go bad in Nigeria, they benefit from it. The money where our leaders they steal, now them that they carry and go give. So if we are not happy with that, we should be the ones to stand against it. Our rulers steal from us to make investments in UK and America. These countries use these monies to further develop their societies. They use these monies to make their countries better for children yet unborn. 
And this information is available to millions of Nigerians. Everybody knows that this is what our rulers do. Yet we do nothing about it. We even celebrate many of these erring politicians. Therefore, asking the UK to arrest them when they move freely amongst us will amount to hypocrisy. And so, Tinubu is begging Nigerian doctors abroad to leave the thousands of dollars they receive weekly or monthly over there to come and feast on empty promises here in Nigeria. And it's not like he's even going to allow any of those doctors to treat him. Have you seen how evil these APC people are? Anyway, make I leave him here. Make I still enter town. <laughs> Make I go get some Ogbonge political news. Where would I go like? Why? Because now, because of now, now I they here. So don't go away. Don't go away.